Hi, Dan here from Stoke Stainless Limited. Today I'm here to show you our wood-fired bathtub and give you a brief overview on how it operates. So when you're considering a place for your bathtub on your property, they can be set on any firm level surface, whether it's grass, gravel, concrete or paving stones. You've got two H4 treated runners just beneath here, so one positioned there and one at the other end. So first of all, it's important that we fill the bathtub up so that the burner is covered. So the top of the burner is here, and that's where the water level needs to be just over by about 25 millimetres, which is an inch. Then we go ahead and hook our garden hose up, and it disconnects onto here. And then once that's connected, we open the valve up, and then it continues to fill with water. Now that the bathtub's full of water, we're going to go ahead and light the fire. So to do that, we're going to open up the ash pan by removing the two nuts here, take off the damper valve, remove the ash pan, and I've actually already put some paper and kindling in here. So basically, just get a fire started like that, light your fire, and then once the fire's taken, slide the ash pan back in, put your damper back on, and reattach the two nuts. Like so. So you'll notice here that this actually slides. So you can actually cut the air supply right off like so. But when uh, you're lighting the fire and running it for the initial heat up, you really want the damper valve to be wide open. So after you've lit the fire, the next step is to add wood. And to do that, you remove this plug here, pull it up. And you've got to cut your wood reasonably fine, so it's got to be 100 millimetres in diameter or less. And then just put it in through the top there. So we've actually got this poker on the side here, and that's for putting down there and manoeuvring your wood on top of the flames properly. So once you've put a few pieces in, you put your plug back in. And then the fire will take around about an hour and a half to heat up the water to about 38 degrees. And we've got this floating thermometer here which is a rubber ducky and ideally you want to heat the water up to 38 degrees and then it's good to jump in. So the water in the bath will last just one day and after you've let the water cool down it's time to drain it. So to do that you can eat your garden hose and I've got this running to a stormwater drain or you could put this over your garden and then you can open up your drain valve and the water will drain out. So to clean the bath let the water drain out then you get a bit of dish detergent on a cloth, wipe the surfaces down, or you can also use a soft window brush, and then hose it out, let the soap suds drain completely, and then it's ready for next use. The bath is really low maintenance, so all you need to do is oil the cedar once a year, and to do that is around about a 20 minute job. You can get the oil from us, it's um, Resine Woodex is the product, and to do that you just basically dip a rag in oil, and then rub it in a vertical movement around the cedar. If you get any oil on the bands, then you can remove that with a bit of methylated spirits on a clean rag. So I hope you enjoyed our short video on the wood-fired bath. I'm Dan from Stoke Stainless.